Hello everyone. In this chapter, we are going to study about a training. This is a continuation of the previous chapter training. The recap of the previous chapter is retention of information training, training, skill training, attitude guidance, benefit of a training, and a training method. In this chapter, students will be able to learn the different type of a training. So, with, with the starting point, we have a different type of a training that includes on-the-job training, off-the-job training, which includes lecture, conferences, demonstration, stimulation, mock-up training, induction training, refresher training, remedial training, and the last one is cross-training. Start on with on the job training. This type of a training take place while a trainee is working on a daily schedule. The trainee in the case is under the guidance of a trainer or a buddy. As a part of on job training in the housekeeping, the new employer may be instructed in the topic such as the use and a care of equipment, the use and a storage of cleaning equipment. Setting up of the room, attendant cart and a linen laundry and a uniform handling procedure. With the help of a buddy system, the trainer is able to understand and easily able to cope up with the hotel policies. Next one is off the job training. Off the job training take place away from work in a classroom by mean of workshop demonstration, lecture, discussion, seminar, audiovisual presentation, case studies and role play. Some topic for instruction may be controlling expensive, way to meet the standard, demonstration of a new equipment, stress management and the various methods adopted on the off-job training are demonstration, case study, management games, lectures, video presentations, etc. Third one is stimulation mock-up training. In this training, the house this is for a housekeeping and unrented model room is ready or may set up and used to train several other employees. The advantage of a stimulation training over the on-job training is that a training process may be stopped in between discussion again and repeated if required for a reinforce, the training, the training here does not have to prepare the room for a guest occupancy. It's as it is just a mock-up room where he just need to understand the setup of the particular room in order to understand the room procedure, which he can follow in front of the guest. Other one is induction training. Induction training is carried out with when an employee is new to the organization and has to learn the knowledge, skills, skills for example, bed making, dusting, vacuum cleaner, equipment cleaners, and the attitude which we have done in the previous chapter, which involves the attitudes towards the guest, the attitudes towards the employee, the grooming standard, the appearance, and all for his new position. The other one is refresher training. The refresher training which is carried out when an old employee has to retrain to refresh his or her memory, which is very important as when he becomes old, he should understand what all new equipment has came in, uh, in the organization where he has to understand. So those learning training is known as a refresher training. Next one is remedial training. This training is carried out for an old employee where there is a change in the present working style, which may be related to the competitive environment, technological changes or a guest expectations, where the person is easy and able to understand about the, and familiarize by the new equipment in the department. The last one is cost training. The training enables employees to work in a department and the other 
and the other than their speciality in the period of a staff shortage. In a cross department, a person from a housekeeping can move to the front office just to understand the procedure and the policies of the front office. So, in case of any such situation where a hotel needs more staff, the person can easily be adjusted in the particular department. So, this was all about the training. Thank you so much.